Before diving into object oriented analysis, we should first discuss what actually an object is. In this video, I'll try to give basic definition of object and then I'll refine the definition with the help of examples. Generally, an object is anything that occupies space in the universe. For example, the room you are sitting in contains several objects like your laptop, the table on which you have kept your laptop, the chair on which you are sitting and more interestingly, you are also an example of object. We can say tangible items that occupy space in universe are objects. Now, one question must come to your mind. What about intangible items? Can we have intangible objects? I'll try to explain this with the help of an example. Imagine you are visiting a nearby bank and you are standing at the door of the bank. What all things do you observe? Definitely, you can see bank employees interacting with bank customers. Can you see the locker used by bank to keep the money? Also, you can notice that bank employees are using their personal computers to update the bank accounts of customers. Exactly, this is how a real bank looks like. Now, just give a thought. I want this bank to work virtually. Or in other words, I want to implement a virtual bank which works exactly as a real bank. To achieve this, I first need to identify what all real world entities needs to be mapped to the virtual world. Let's try to move things from real world to virtual world one by one. Do I need lockers in my virtual bank? Yes, definitely to keep track of the money that the bank has. Do I need employees in my virtual bank? Yes, because the management and administration of the bank can be handled by employees only. Do I need customers in my virtual bank? Yes, customers will interact with the bank accounts. Now, do I need to move these personal computers to my bank, virtual bank? Let's try to recall. In real banks, these personal computers were used by the bank employees to update the bank accounts of the customer. So I don't need to move these personal computers into virtual bank. But definitely, I need to have bank accounts in my virtual world so that the withdrawals and the deposits can be made in these bank accounts. Now you might have noticed that we have moved some physical and some conceptual items from the real world to virtual world to implement or to simulate the functionality of real world. Now we are at a point where we can give more precise definition to the term object. An object is a real world element in object oriented environment that may have physical or conceptual existence. 